President Umnangogwa has officially set August 23rd as the date for Zimbabwe's next elections. This sets the stage for a very heated election in a country with a bad economy. Critics say that Umnangogwa's ruling ZANU PF party is trying to stay in power even though inflation is out of control. The currency is falling, it's lost 60% of its value this month alone, and most people are unhappy with their living conditions. Nelson Chamisa of the CCC opposition party was Umnangogwa's main opponent. In 2018, Chumisa came close to winning, but he lost in a disputed election that had to be settled in court. Chumisa says that his party is ready to win this time because more than 2 million new people have signed up to vote. But important reforms have stopped in parliament and opposition parties are split on whether or not to take part. Some people say that the voting system is still very flawed and unfair. The MDC party says that announcing election dates before reforms are passed shows disrespect for the law. The case in court about the voters list is still going on. The CCC says that they will keep pushing for reforms. Such as a list of voters that is kept electronically and better security for voters. It's not clear, though, if enough will be done before the vote in August. The announcement comes as Zimbabwe's problems get worse. This month, the local currency has dropped even more and there isn't enough cash to go around. This has caused long lines at banks. Wages that are going down are making workers more and more angry. Will Zimbabwe finally get the democratic breakthrough and reforms that so many people want, or will more of the same make people even more upset?